At NASA, exploration is in our DNA. From the furthest reaches of interstellar space, all the way down to the fragile ecosystem of our home planet Earth. With technologies like Unity and the VR AR platforms we've been discussing this morning, we're really pushing the limits of what it means to be an explorer. And as we go further and further into the cosmos, we'll need to design more capable machines to take us there. More complex systems than we've ever conceived, each with its unique risks and challenges. In order to reduce these risks and solve issues far before they ever arise, we decided to adopt VR and AR technologies to empower our spacecraft engineers earlier in the design process. Today, I want to show you a glimpse into just how we've been able to transform the way we design spacecraft. And for that, I'd like to bring up on the stage the project leader of protospace, Marty Vono. to show you Protospace, which we've been building and using at JPL for the last two years. Protospace shows CAD models at full scale. Here we have the wheel of the next Mars rover currently under development. Protospace has been used for a number of NASA missions from proposal through design and assembly. We have tools to, for selection to move the model around and to change scale. We can also do section planes and we can move individual pieces of the model around. So I'll try to do that now. One of the most important uses for protospace is collaboration among our mechanical engineers. We often have up to 10 people wearing headsets, walking and talking around a virtual model. And for that, let's switch to the full rover model. And I'd like to invite Ben Riggs, rover mechanical systems engineer, to join us and tell you a little bit more about how protospace is being used in practice to design spacecraft. Thanks, Marty. How do you like our new Mars rover? Pretty cool, right? We're actually in fabrication right now. And as Marty mentioned, I'm currently an engineer working on the Mars 2020 project. My team designs, builds, and tests the rover mechanical hardware that we'll be sending to Mars in the summer of 2020. The protospace tool allows us to interact with the rover model in a natural, intuitive way while still collaborating with other folks in the room. Now I'd like to share one of our real-world use cases with you today. In the final phase of the rover landing sequence, the rover is lowered from a descent stage with three nylon bridles. Once rover touchdown on the surface is detected, those three bridles are cut and the descent stage flies away. Now, at that very instant, it's very important that those cut bridles don't drag or snag on any of the hardware on the top deck of the vehicle. The protospace tool has allowed the design team to enable a, in, to take a look at that geometry on the top deck of the vehicle and evaluate any potential problems with it so that we can correct it before the hardware is fabricated. Finding potential issues early in the design process is vital to the success of the project and the protospace tool gives us just that opportunity. Thank you. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Marty. What an awesome demo. Who would have thought that building and designing a 3D object is actually more effective in 3D space? As you can see, the future of protospace is bright. We can use it in the formulation, implementation, integration, testing, and operations for every single space mission. And the technologies we've showcased here are also easily transferable to many different domains all across the industry. And we we'll look forward to working with all of you to make that a reality. Thank you. <laughs> 